Oh my gosh, I am so excited. So guess what? We have the LOL Carpool Coop. And I'm so like, literally when I saw pictures of this, I had to get it mainly because it kind of reminded me a little bit of a DeLorean, a little bit of like, 80s retro new wave looking color scheme chrome i don't know i was really feeling this car <laughs> so it is a car surprise pool and a dance floor crazy also comes with an exclusive doll oh, oh i'm so happy i'm so happy and i can't wait for this doll to come out too the whole neon line like oh, i've seen pictures on instagram if you haven't seen it go check it out so exciting uh this actually has a black light headlights interesting i would have rather it been just like a regular light but i get the black light because it's supposed to have like the neon dolls so this box is pretty decent size it was 30 dollars, which i feel is affordable for a car that lights up comes with a little mini doll i feel like you get so many cool things for 30 dollars, which was surprising because i was expecting this to be a lot more money but hey i'm not complaining i like a deal so it has the pool in the back dance floor and obviously car in the front and then they also you can squish it together and just make it a car and not have to have the back sticking out now surprise pool looks like you can put water in it um it does have little like compartments adjustable seating and a dance floor i just want to get this out of the box want to show you guys what the box looked like i did pick this up from walmart um i'm assuming other retailers will eventually have it or already having it uh, but like i said i got it at walmart so let's take it out of the box all right, so this is how it was in the box. Car here and then the pack on the side. I'm assuming this is where the little doll is. So we will open this up first. Let's take a closer look. Oh, I like it. They have it in surprise form. So we have, oh, the pieces for the car, it seems like. Uh, look how cute. Someone's got a little driver's license. I think that is so adorable. And it says on here, drag racer, her classes zoom, uh, you glow girl. I love that. And she's blonde with brown eyes. That's so cute. I love that. This is adorable. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of pieces here. So I like how they kept it as a surprise. So let's open up the surprises. Why not? Let's go for the surprises first. And the first thing we've got here... I don't even know what this is. <laughs> Maybe the instructions would be good, but it's a clip with like a marble printed like piece. Maybe for like, I don't know. I don't know what that would go there. GPS, I don't know, you know that? I'm just like making up random things. I'm like, I think a GPS would go there. Oh, we've got her little pink shoes and <gasps> the doll. It's so cute. I like how they're just like always in a split in the package. I don't know why that's always so funny to me. Uh, she's so cute. Now they have had Drag Racer before in the Under Wraps series, I believe, or the Confetti Pop series. Um, but this one's a little different. I think her pants are different on this. So let's put her outfit together, which I'm assuming is in all these bags. Yes, we've got cute plaid looking, or checkered plaid. Why do I say plaid? Hello, checkered board printed sunglasses. And then we've got, oh, her outfit. Oh my gosh, so cute. Ready for the races. And then we've got, oh, this is so cute. Is it like a key, like a key fob? Oh my gosh. Okay, so technology, right? If this is what I'm thinking it is, back in the day, key. New thing, key fob with a cat key ring. Wow, this is really, <laughs> will kids not know what a key is for a car? Probably not. They'll be like, hey, old timer, why are you calling, you know, those things keys? They're fobs. And I'm like, oh gosh, oh gosh, is that happening? Has that already happened? We've got a cup and it says pop on it and it's got more of the checker print all over it. So definitely all this stuff is really coordinated with her. This has to be something for the car because this is heavy, really heavy. All right, what do we got? Oh, that's neat. Oh, it's the seats. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, and I like the elastic is kind of like zigzaggy. It's not like a normal like safety belt. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, is it a little drawer? Oh, it's like, oh, I get it. That's so cute. So like a normal doll will sit in it. But if you push it back and front, then like if it's smaller, a smaller doll can sit in it. I think that's what that's for. I don't know, we'll have to test it out a little bit. And I think this is the second chair. Yes, it is. So kind of silly to have the chairs, I feel like, in surprise bags, but it's still cute, so I like it. Okay, so we're getting things together. On the bottom here is where the three AAA batteries go, and they weren't included, but it was really easy to install. 
the car is very shiny as you can see so I've already got like a million fingerprints all over it it says BB on the back it's got a really good weight to it you guys this isn't thin this isn't cheap feeling um there is like obviously thinner plastic on it but with the chrome and everything like oh, I've got so many fingerprints on it it just feels so weighty and I love that I love that in a toy I love that in a product I like that it's not even, especially for the price it's so good and it feels really nice rolls really easily now what I was saying before where I was like oh you pop this out this is where if you pop pull it out and you bend your little little legs she can sit right in there like that so it makes her sit higher up so she can actually see when she's driving so I thought that was a really cute little add-on that they did to it I will get a larger doll here in a second and put her in there um, I did put the outfit on for the drag racer doll super cute and the mirrors on this are adjustable right here on the sides. They're very, very tiny, but they're cute. They're, they, they serve their purpose. They serve their purpose. <laughs> and then for the back here, I know what you guys are wondering. Where is the dance floor? Where is the pool? Well, there's literally just easily pops right out. And then you just flip it over. How easy is that? Now you've got dance floor here in the background or in the back of the car, excuse me. And then here's where the pool's at and you can pull out these little like handles or you can push them back down, whichever. And then she can splash around in the pool. So you literally get like kind of almost like a mini, not a dollhouse, but like kind of like a little play set house <laughs> party area with a car. So you're getting two in one kind of a feel versus just having just toy car. And fits in there pretty good. It's just so you guys get the size of the length. It's about, you know, if you can fit one and a half LOL dolls in it. Same way with the dance floor. Now this is fully removable as well. It just snaps in. There's like little like pressure sensors on the side. So if you want to take it fully out and just have her look like a almost like an El Camino, kind of like a truck looking thing, you can do that too. Or like I said, I personally like it like this. I don't think I'm gonna really use it for the dance floor or anything like that, but I just like it clipped in, pretty easy, loud, but it was easy. And then for the light sensors, these are really cute. They are pressure sensored here. So, so you just press it down, press it back up to open. The front kind of looks like a Corvette almost I don't know styling possibly I don't know if that's where they got inspiration from and tiny little emblem on the front there says lol on it really cute very 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 detailed on this in my opinion um, here's the inside of the car to give you guys kind of more ideas of what it looks like and the way you turn the lights on oh does the golf compartment open oh it does I can't do it because I've got long nails. Oh, even the glove compartment opens up. How neat is that? Um, you literally just press the shifter down and the lights, which it's super bright in here, come on. And you guys can kind of see there's the lights. Now they are black light. So obviously it won't be super bright, but what it does is for example, like let me put the glasses here. I'm gonna turn the lights off so you guys can get a better look. So even with my lighting equipment off, you, it's still like here, let me should bring it up. So you guys can still see the lights are pretty bright. And do you guys see the black light reflection on there? So this is pretty bright pink. It's still bright behind me, so it is affecting the overall lighting, but I think this is just so cool. Like that, even if you don't wanna use the black light purpose, the lights still look awesome. Like I think it still looks really, really great. And I like that they did something where it lights up. And this clip, which I didn't know what it was for initially, is actually a cup holder and it clips onto the side and it goes like for like the pool and stuff, which is a little bit thicker back here. So this is a cup holder for you know, your cats, your drinks. That's cute, 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 cute. Love these little keys. Again, I'm laughing at the key fob thing because to me they're keys, but key fob, it's got a key fob. This is a fancy car, all right? No, no regular keys for this one. All right, and since the Neon series isn't out, so I don't got that Neon doll yet, I put Alt Girl in here just so you guys can see what it looks like having a full-size OMG doll in the car. Went in pretty easily. I mean, the legs just bend, go straight into the vehicle. Um, I have Drag Racer driving right now because she's on her little like high chair kind of situation. Um, I think this is cute, you guys. I really do. I'm really happy with the overall feel of the vehicle, with the color of the vehicle, with the you know, like the lights popping up. Again, for me, I don't, I'm not gonna use the back function of the dance floor and the pool, but for a kid, totally can see enjoying that though. Um, I just think it's gonna be so pretty on display and having my dolls drive around in this really cool pink gold DeLorean because that's what it looks like to me. <laughs> and I love it. I absolutely love it. And for $30, 
again, I can't complain because look, this doll alone, if I was to get her, would be 10 bucks, right? Roughly. So you're getting this car that lights up for 20. Awesome. Now, would I have liked it to make a noise or like some other stuff like that for not just for play, but just to like have? Yeah, I mean, I would have been happy paying 40 or $50 for this car if it had sounds as well, besides just the black light. Um, black light, again, technology is kind of, it's cool, it's neat. I get what they're trying to do because the neon dolls are coming out. So you want to have like the neon kind of show up with the black light to interact with the car. But I would have been happy just having regular lights and a sound on it instead. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna post some pictures of this on Instagram. Uh, definitely let me know what you guys think in comments on social media somewhere <laughs> about the idea of the car and everything and what you guys think. I think this is just stunning, gorgeous. I absolutely love this purchase that I made. Uh, I would have, the only thing I would have thought would have been cool if they did is if they had the hood open and you could put accessory pieces in there. That would have been neat to me. I would have liked to have seen that just because yeah, you can maybe kind of store it up in the pool area, but I would have liked to have had accessories, like a place for accessories in this car. Just saying. <laughs> so check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Snapchat, uh, here on YouTube, everywhere, uh, Patreon, if you want to support the channel so I can keep making videos. I appreciate it. Thank you. And then also, uh, if MGA ever wants to, you know, sponsor me or send me stuff, go for it because I will review all the LOL stuff. <laughs> Come on, I gotta try, right? I gotta try. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I hope you enjoyed me overlooking this vehicle with you. Bye.